to show you how I got this pinup inspired look. I've already done my foundation and one eye and I will do my lips at the end. I'm just taking my eyeshadow primer and I'm putting it all along my entire lid all the way up to the eyebrow and underneath the eye. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm going to take this peach tone eyeshadow on a fluffy eyeshadow brush like that and I'm going to put that all across my eye. And this is going to create a nice even base for everything to blend out on. And I'm going to show you one of my tricks for bigger looking eyes. Before you go underneath the eye with that peach tone color, you're going to take a light stick concealer. This one is L'Oreal True Match in the color Fair Light. And what I do is I will use that like an eyeliner from inner corner to outer corner. And I take a small concealer brush and I will just blend that out across my lash line. And this will look a lot more natural than if you were to use a white eyeliner. And then go over your lower lid with the peach tone color. So now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush, like this, and I'm going to take this light neutral brown color by NYX. It's called Maybe Later. Looks like that. And I'm going to put that all through my crease, really high up next to my brow bone. And with the excess eyeshadow, I'm going to blend that onto my lid. And this is just going to be our transition color. It should look just like that. And with another NYX eyeshadow, this one's called Dance the Tides. It's a very red, orange, warm tone brown. I'm just going to put that through my outer corner and blend it in a little and through my crease. I'm also going to put that in the outer half of my lower lash line. Just like that. And with a small, dense blending brush, I'm going to go back to my Maybelline The Nudes and take this dark, warm tone brown and put that in the focus of my outer V and the outer half of my crease. And just to make sure everything is nice and blended, I'm going to go back to that light brown color very lightly and blend the edges. Just like that. For eyeliner, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Cream Gel Liner in the color blackest black and an angle eyeliner brush and I'm going to put a thin line across my lash line and bring it out into a wing at the end. It should look like that. And then you're just going to finish off with some mascara and some falsies. Now I'm going to show you how to find your perfect red. There are cool tone reds which have 
pink in them, or there are warm tone reds that have orange in them. So if you are of a darker complexion and you have pink undertones in your skin, you should probably opt for a dark burgundy. This one is called Black Cherry and it's by Milani. It looks like this. If you are of a dark complexion but have a warm undertone, which is yellow, you should opt for a medium toned warm red. This one is called Classic Wine and it is by L'Oreal. And it looks like this. If you are of a medium complexion and you have pink undertones, you should opt for a cool toned medium red. This one's called True Red. It's also by L'Oreal. Looks like that. If you are of a warm undertone and a medium complexion, you should opt for more of a classic toned red, which is like my top. This one's called British Red. It's by L'Oreal as well. It looks like that. If you are of a lighter complexion and you have cool undertones, you should opt for more of a pink toned red. This one is called Fairy Tale and it is by CoverGirl. It looks like that. If you are of a fairer complexion and you have warm undertones, you should use more of a orange based red. This one is called Kiss Me Coral and it is by Revlon. It looks like that. This is the color that I will be wearing today. Because I have warm undertones, which is yellow, and I am of a fair complexion, this color comes off on me as a neutral colored red, even though it's orange. Now, I can't exactly do pin-up hair, but because in the 50s they used to tie their hair up in scarves and wear big chunky sunglasses, I will be doing a scarf look today and it's really easy. I'm just taking a plaid with a red stripe scarf and it's a square scarf. I just folded it into a triangle. I'm going to take that behind me, push my hair back, and bring the flat side onto the top of my head leaving the point in the back. You just want to tuck your hair inside and bring the corners around. And tuck them under the end of the triangle. Just like that.